Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use one password. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can also use it for desktop and then extension. So the first thing that you want to do is go to top right and click try one password free. If you already have an account, just skip this part to the next part. Here, let's say you can go business, enterprise or personal family. I'm going to personal this one try free for 14 days here the first thing that you need to do is to add a name and email address so i'm going to add marcus and email address and then create account here i'm going to get an email on my I got a code here and I will paste it. Next. Now you need to set your master password. Try to make it a unique phrase that you will remember. Include at least 10 characters in your password. So let's say I'm going to do it like this and confirm. Next. Card number. Oh, you can add it if you want to. I'm going to create account and add card later. Creating account. And look at this. Save your emergency kit. If you get locked out of your account, you will need your emergency kit to sign in. Download your emergency kit PDF and keep it somewhere safe. This is something that I would recommend to print it out. And it contains secret key. So download PDF. This is just tutorial I'm going to show you. So I would click here and this is my secret key. And you see right here. Once you fill out, fill in your master password, the details below can be used to sign into your one password account as an emergency. Print out the document, fill in your password below. So uh, let's say that I'm going to print it. I will just write here my password. Store your kit in a secure place where you can find it. Save deposit box. So I would just print it out, write it, and then let's say I'm going to add it, just put it to my safe or like even hide it somewhere. For case of emergency that someone would breach my account, uh, something would happen, I would lose my master password, whatever. This is a really great thing one password has. So definitely print it out and save it. So right now, as you can see, when we are going to uh, be in one password, this is the online version. On the top left, you would see a new world that you can create. This can be description of your world, like passwords. On the right side, you would see your account billing. You can invite people. Or let me show you what you can do here. So the first thing that I would recommend is to definitely check your account. On the top right. And my profile. And here I want to show you what you can do. So here you're going to see the email address, secret key, setup code here. You can save emergency kit. You can delete account here. Then you can change the email. You can regenerate secret key. You can change master password and more action. You can also manage two factor and you can set up application for your one password account if you want to. So that's something you can do. Or we can auto log and travel mode. Turn on to remove walls from your device. So you can travel mode and it's really like all right. One password will lock to browser when closed after it's idle for 10 minutes. You can put settings and change it to 50 minutes, whatever. So you're not locked out. Let's say I'm going to edit for 50 minutes. Save. So this is how the settings work. Now, let me show you what you can do and how we can create a new world. And then how you can add passwords and everything. So you're going to see the personal, but I'm going to add a new world here. My own world. Passwords, ID, uh, payment card. You can also change the logo of it. So let's say I'm going to add this one and create a world. 
you can have as many worlds as you want. And as you can see, I can edit details, save, I can view the world, I can import the data, or I can delete it. So this is how your world, world works. Now let's click view world. And here, we're gonna see everything. So let me show you how to understand the world. And how we can also add passwords. So in all items, you would find all items. Favorites are your favorites item here for quick access. It can be your personal information, credit, debit card, whatever. Watchtower, there are like compromised websites, reused passwords, weak passwords. We will get to it after we add identities and login. So identity, I can simply click here and go to the bottom and you're going to see the plus here. Click on a plus and here you have options. So you can in category identity, let's say I'm going to click identity. You can of course add a password, document, bank account, database, driver license, email account, medical record, membership, reward program, social security number, like a lot of things. So in identity, I would add identity, driver license, social security number, possible and password. So I'm going to click on identity, ID, I can add Marcus Stone, male, when I was born, occupation, company, street. So I would add everything here. I'm even going to zoom in so you can see everything. And this is how would I add my identification. Like important stuff and click save. Let's say I'm going to add the same thing, but I'm going to add for driver license and I would add literally fill everything here. I'm not going to fill it for tutorial because I think you understand how it works right now with identities. So I would come here and I would add uh, Full name. And I would add everything here. Click save. And voila, here I would have it. So right now you see that we have these things here. And then what you can do is to add plus button again. And let's say I'm going to add password right now. So how to add a password and how it actually works. Or not password, but you can click, let's say, yeah, let's go with the password right now. And I can go Twitter. And I can simply uh, write here password. Or I can, you can generate it if you want to. That's like really up to you. And you can add web address here if you want to. So this is how it works. Now I'm going to show you something here that you can find also all worlds here or like personal. So when I'm going to go on personal, you would find your logins here. And these are the login that you can use. And you would find also some guides how it works here. So when I'm going back to our own, in all items, I would click plus here and I would press login. So I'm going to add like Twitter, username, and now I'm going to add a password. So I'll look at this, I just need to. So I will just name it. Okay, I have it because like you would see it on my Twitter and it will be twitter.com. So let's go like this. 
Log out. Log out. Website. So Twitter for this username, this password. And then I would have it uh, for this website. And now I'm going to then click save. You can also add labels here. So I would click save. And this would be my password right here. I would log out and let's say I'm going to now what I have to do is actually download um, one password extension. So I would go one password extension. Add to Chrome. Add extension. So let's just wait until it loads. Sign in. Now we'll just wait until it's going to load. Okay, we have it right here. The one password extension. And then what you need to do is to click on one password and you can see that I got all items here. So I could simply go on Twitter, log in, use phone. And here I can easily just copy. See, when I'm going to click here, I can auto, it's going to autofill for me. What you can do is when you would click on an extension, you can just copy it by yourself or you can autofill it right when you're on a website. So there are multiple ways how we can do it. So you can copy it from here. This is the website and I can even like open and fill for it. And this is how it works. So this is how we can work with extension. You can copy it by yourself or you can fill it like here. It's like up to you how you decide to do it. It's like completely up to you. Now, the next thing what you can do is to also uh, download it and use it for your computer. So when you would come here to one password download, you can download one password for Windows. And let me show you how it works. Thanks for downloading one password run. Yes. And now enter password. Yep, I got backed up a little bit. Yeah, I need to, I need to uninstall it right now. And then download it again. Only because. I think it backed out on my computer. So I'm going to run. Do you want to install? Yes. Oh, here we go. So this is it. And this is works really similar way how you have it on your uh, world when you have your own. So you will have logins and everything. And uh, you can use it also for your computer. Just download it, install it, and then you can use it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So all items. And you can see things here, logins, you would have logins. But personally, guys, I prefer using the online version for it. And then what you can do is to use it also for uh, if you want to log in for something on your computer. Now, when you come here, uh, what you can do then is to click plus here. And you can not only also add documents, 
bank accounts, databases, reward program, software license, wireless router, let's say. So I would like here, my own Wi-Fi, and you would add base station name, base station password. And that's pretty much it. So this is how you use one password, guys. I don't really know what else should I show you. Let me down in the comments if you didn't understand something, what you can actually do. Uh, you can also use watch watchtower here and you can see if you overall password strength, if you got any compromised website, reuse passwords, weak passwords, you would find all the data right here. It is important. So that's really good to know. And yeah, so this is pretty much it, how you can use 1Password, guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, this is a 1Password tutorial. 1Password guidance, etc. Thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.